Hello boys and girls, I'm Wendy the Friendly Witch. Happy Halloween everybody. Halloween starts with the letter H and H also stands for hay and horse and haunted house and hoot owl. That's a cute little hoot owl, isn't it? He says hoot, hoot. <laughs> he doesn't give a hoot. Let's sing our ABC song together. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S, T, U, V. W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? <laughs> That was beautiful. I could hear your sweet voices. Well, boys and girls, I've got a story for you called The Big Pumpkin. Once upon a time, a long time ago, there was a witch. She loved pumpkin pie, and she decided to plant a pumpkin so she could make pumpkin pie at Halloween time. So she planted the seed in her garden and she watered her pumpkin plant and the sunlight shone down on it and she pulled all the weeds away from her little plant and pretty soon there was a little green sprout coming out of the ground and then it grew into a great big vine and then a pumpkin started to grow on that vine and it grew bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until it was a great big pumpkin and the witch said oh tomorrow's halloween i better get out there and pick that pumpkin and make my pumpkin pie <makes noise> so she went to the garden and she put her arms around her great big pumpkin and she pulled <makes noise> then she pulled harder <makes noise> And then she pulled even harder. But the pumpkin just sat. And the witch said, Drat! Then along came a ghost. Ooh, hello, witchy. That's a very big pumpkin you've got there. And she said, Yeah, it's big and it's mine. But it's stuck on the vine and i got to get it off for Halloween time. And the ghost said, Ooh, let me see what I can do. So the ghost took hold of the big pumpkin and pulled hard. Ooh. Then he pulled harder. Ooh. And then he pulled even harder. Ooh, 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 ooh. But the pumpkin just sat. And the witch said, Drat! Then, boys and girls, guess who came along? A vampire. A vampire has long, sharp teeth and he wears a black cape. And he said to the witch, Hello, witchy. That's a very big pumpkin you've got there. And she said, Yeah, it's big. It's mine. But it's stuck on the vine. And I've got to get it off for Halloween time. And the vampire said, well, I'm bigger and stronger than both of you. Let me see what I can do. <laughs> so the vampire took hold of the pumpkin and he pulled hard. <laughs> and then he pulled harder. <laughs> and then he pulled even harder. <laughs> but the pumpkin just sat and the witch said, Drat! Then Somebody all wrapped up in tape came along. Do you know what that was, boys and girls? A mummy. And the mummy said, Hey, witchy, that's a very big pumpkin you've got there. Yeah, it's big and it's mine, but it's stuck on the vine. And I gotta get it off for Halloween time. <laughs> and the mummy said, well, I'm bigger and stronger than all of you. Let me see what I can do. So the mummy put his arms around the great big pumpkin and he even put his feet against the pumpkin and he pulled hard. 
Then he pulled harder. And then he pulled even harder. But the pumpkin just sat. And the witch said, Drap! Then came along a little black bat. That little black bat kind of looked like that. Well, the bat said, She said, yeah, it's big and it's mine, but it's stuck on the vine. And I got to get it off for Halloween time. And the little bat said, well, maybe I can get that pumpkin off the vine for you. You? <laughs> You're too small. <laughs> if these big guys couldn't get it off the vine, you can. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> but then the bat said, Well, I'm not very big, and I'm not very strong, but I'm very, 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 very smart. I got an idea how you can get that pumpkin off the vine, witchy. So the witch said, well, what the heck? I'm desperate. All right, little bat, go for it. See if you can do it. See if you can get this pumpkin off the vine. What's your idea? <laughs> and then the little bat said, well, witchy, take a hold of your pumpkin. So she did. And then he said, now, ghost, you hang on to witchy around her waist. And he did. And then he said, Dracula, you hang on to the ghost. And he did. And then he said, Mommy, you hold on to Dracula. And he did. And then the little bat said, And Mommy, I'll hold on to you. Now, we're all going to count to three. And then we're going to say, Pull. When we say, Pull, everybody pull as hard as you can. And boys and girls, you count to three with me too and say pull. Ready? Here we go. One, two, two and a half. <laughs> Just kidding. Three, pull. And they all pulled. And when they did, that pumpkin popped right off the vine and it rolled down the hill and landed right in front of the witch's house. She was so happy she sang a witchy song. She said, la 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 and a tee hee hee ha, pumpkin pie for you and me. She took that pumpkin into her house and made the most delicious pumpkin pie. And she invited all those helpers to come in and have a piece. Well, after they had eaten their delicious pumpkin pie, the little bat said, Oh, oh time to fly. Bye-bye. And he disappeared like magic. And then the ghost said, Oh, thank you. And he disappeared. And then the vampire said, I couldn't eat another bite. Good night. And he disappeared. And then the mummy said, that was good pie, beyond compare. I gotta go now, I got people to scare. And he disappeared, and Witchy was all alone. And she said, gosh, I'm kind of lonely. It was nice having friends to share with. I'm gonna miss those guys. I know what I'll do. And she took some seeds from her big pumpkin and she ran right outside and planted them so that next year she would have another pumpkin to make pie with and she would invite all her friends back and have another happy Halloween. The end. Wasn't that a nice story? Ha ha ha. I think so. Should we do a little magic together? I love to do my pen trick. You never know what'll happen with a magic pen, my friends. It's all empty, 
But what's this? That's right, pumpkin seeds. Yes, and I'm gonna open up this little envelope and we're gonna pour the pumpkin seeds in. Here we go. There, all empty. Now, I'm putting the lid on the pan. <laughs> and now, Here's my wand. We're gonna say some magic words, boys and girls, for Halloween. Let's say one, two, three, trick or treat. All right, here we go, say it with me. One, two, three, trick or treat. Good, let's see if we got anything. Oh, isn't that cute? We got a little pumpkin. <laughs> Oh, good job, everybody. And all of those seeds we put in are gone. Very good. Give yourself a little clap, clap, clap. And now let's do another trick. Let's do the big bag trick. What's that? It's a white scarf. Kind of makes me think of a white ghost. Ooh. And what color's this? Black, black like my hat, black like my dress, black like night. And there's something else in here, boys and girls. Oh! <laughs> Can you see? It's orange and yellow and white. It's candy corn. That's Halloween candy, isn't it? Well, looks like that's all that's in here. Well, let's use this stuff. I'm going to take the lid off this candy corn. And I'm going to pour it in the bag. Mmm, I like to eat candy corn. It's yummy. And we'll put in the black scarf. And we'll put in the white. Now, for magic words this time, let's count to three and let's say big black cat. One. Two, three, big black cat. I wonder if we got something. Oh, you know, sometimes I have a black cat that rides on my broom with me on Halloween night. Oh, <laughs> it's a Halloween scarf, my friends. Oh, it's a long one, too. Look at that. Do you see what's on it? I see pumpkins and skeletons and candy corn. Oh! <laughs> and everything in the bag turned into this scarf. Oh, that was mighty fine. Good job. Let's do another one. This is fun. Oh, I know. Next, we're going to do my Halloween coloring book. And I'm going to show you. I haven't colored any of the pictures in this book. Look, there I am, boys and girls. Yeah, and that's my friend. Yeah, Sammy the Skeleton. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll show you that none of these pictures are colored yet. And to color them, ooh, we're going to do great Halloween magic. Everybody close your eyes. Good. Now think of your favorite color and open your eyes. I thought of green. Can you tell? My favorite color is green. What'd you think of? Black, oh, that's a Halloween color, yeah. Oh, and orange, good, like a pumpkin. Mm -hmm. And somebody said yellow, orange, and white, like like the, the candy, yes, in the trick. What else? Red, yeah, blue, yeah, gray, white, like a ghost. Brown, mm-hmm. And someone said, gold, ooh, like pirate's gold and silver. All right, everybody, take your little hands, put them by your head. Now, when I say boo, I want you to pull the color you're thinking of out of your mind and throw them in my book. Get ready, get set, boo. Good. This time, let's count to three and let's say haunted house. 
One, two, three, haunted house. Good. Shh. Let's see if we color them. Oh, I hope so. I hope, I hope it worked. Oh, we colored them. Yippee! <laughs> oh, that was wonderful. You know, I might want to color when I get back to my haunted house. Would you pull your colors out, my friends? When I say boo-hoo, pull out your colors. Get ready, get set, boo-hoo. Pull them out and throw them down. Get all the color out, because I want to color when I get home with crayons. Good, oh, that's it. It feels empty. Now for magic words, let's count to three and let's say pumpkin. One, two, three, pumpkin. Very nice. Let's see if the color's gone again so I can color when I get home. I hope so. I... <gasps> it disappeared. Did you see that? All the pictures disappeared too. <laughs> I know what we'll do. We'll just use magic. Everybody, Throw in some lines, no colors, just black lines and pictures, please. Throw them in, throw them in by the whiskers on my chin. Good, now let's count to three and this time we're going to say big black bat. One, two, three, big black bat. Nice, let's see. Oh, I hope the pictures are back so I can color when I get home. Yippee! Oh, thank you, boys and girls. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I just love you. Oh. Let's do one more trick. Oh, we got a good one here. This is the little bag trick. And I mean little. Look how small it is. Yes, isn't it cute? Let's see what's in it, boys and girls. A little red scarf. And I think that's all. Yep, nothing else in the bag but a little red scarf. Well, let's put it back in. And let's say some magic words. This time we're gonna to count to three and we're gonna say vampire for magic words. Count with me. One, two, three, vampire. Okay, oh, I hope something happened. It looks like it looks like a ball or something. What? It is a red ball. <laughs> that red scarf is gone. Boys and girls, do you know what this is? It's a little costume you could wear on Halloween. I've been wondering what I should be this year for Halloween. I think I'll be a clown. And here's some silly glasses, too. How do you like that? That's what I'll be for Halloween. A silly clown. <laughs> I'm glad we did that magic trick. So now I know what I'm going to be. Do you know what you're going to dress up for Halloween as? Hmm? Maybe a princess or a superhero or a minion? Now, boys and girls, in the fall, all the leaves turn red and orange and yellow, and it gets cooler. I love fall leaves. I like to take a walk in the leaves. And when I do, I sing this song, and it goes like this. Autumn leaves are falling down, falling down, falling down. Autumn leaves are falling down. I love autumn. Find a leaf and pick it up. A pick it up. A pick it up. <laughs> Find a leaf and pick it up. I love autumn. If you were here with me, my friends, you could pick up all those leaves for me and put them back in my basket, couldn't you? Well, I've got another great story for you, my friends.
This story is about an old lady who also loved fall leaves, and she wasn't afraid of anything. One beautiful fall day, she took a walk in the woods, and she took her little basket with her so she could collect some seeds and some oh, berries and some herbs in her basket. And it was such a beautiful day, she walked and walked and walked a long way. And then it started to get dark, and she said, oh, I better go. It's getting dark. So she turned around and started to walk home. And suddenly, right in front of her in the path, she saw two pairs, two shoes, I should say. And the shoes were moving, and they were going clomp, clomp. And she said, get out of my way, you silly shoes. I'm not afraid of you. And she kept walking. But behind her, she could hear clomp, clomp. As she walked along, she saw something else in her path. And when she got to it, it was a pair of pants. <laughs> and the pants went wiggle, 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 wiggle. And she said, get out of my way, you silly pants. I'm not afraid of anything. And she walked on by. But behind her, she could hear clomp, clomp, wiggle, wiggle. Then as she walked on, she came to a shirt in the path right in front of her. And the shirt went, shake, shake. And she said, get out of my way, you silly shirt. I'm not afraid of you. And she walked on. But behind her, she could hear, clomp, clomp, wiggle, wiggle, shake, shake. Then as she came around the bend in the path, she saw two white gloves and a tall black hat. And the gloves went, <coughs> and the hat went, nod, nod. And she said, I'm not afraid of you. And she walked right by them. But this time, she walked faster. And behind her, she could hear, clomp, clomp, wiggle, wiggle, shake, shake, clap, clap, nod, nod. And then she could finally see her house in the moonlight. And as she came closer to her house, out of the trees came a great big pumpkin head. And it looked kind of scary. And that pumpkin head said, boo, boo. And the old lady didn't say anything this time. She ran as fast as she could and behind her, she could hear plump, plump, wiggle, wiggle, shake, shake, clap, clap, nod, nod, boo, boo. She ran inside her house and she shut the door. She sat down by her fireplace and she rocked in her rocking chair to calm down. And then there was a knock at her door. And she said, oh, should I answer it? Yes, I should because I'm not afraid of anything. And when she went to the door, she saw two shoes that went gomp, gomp, a pair of pants that went wiggle, wiggle, a shirt that went shake, shake, a pair of gloves that went clap, clap, a hat that went nod, nod, and a pumpkin face that said, boo, boo. And she said, I'm not afraid of you. What do you want anyway? And the pumpkin head said, we're here to scare you. And she said, you can't scare me. And the pumpkin head said, then what are we to do? And the old lady got an idea and she whispered something to the pumpkin. And then he smiled and looked happy again. And she said, good night. And she shut the door and went to bed. The next morning when she got up, boys and girls, the old lady looked out her bedroom window where she could see her garden. And there she saw two shoes that went clomp, clomp, a pair of pants that went wiggle, wiggle, a shirt that went shake, shake, two gloves that went and a hat that went nod, nod, and a pumpkin head that said boo, boo and they scared all the crows 
away. They all went together to make a scarecrow. <laughs> I'm glad that they found a place to be, aren't you? And someone to scare. My little friends, would you help me decorate my pumpkins today? I would love your help. Look at my nice pumpkin. Yeah, it's a nice one. I'm going to move this little pan so we have a place to sit the pumpkin. And let me get some pumpkin parts. First, we're going to put a mouth on my pumpkin. Oh, I think I'll put a big mouth on this pumpkin. Can you see it? There. And he needs a nose. I usually cut a triangle for a nose. There. And then we need some eyes. Put the eyes up here. There's one eye. Oh, he's looking pretty good. Got his mouth a little crooked there. All right, and another eye. If you were here with me, I'd let you kids put these on, but you could make a pumpkin like this at your own house. Yeah. Oh, I like him. Isn't he cute? We did good. I'm going to set him back here on my little bench. And guess what? This is Mama Pumpkin. And here I've got a baby pumpkin. Let's give the baby a face too, shall we? Let's see. I think I'll give this baby round eyes. There's one little eye. And another little eye. And how about a triangle nose for something different? Yeah, and <laughs> I think I'll make this little pumpkin say boo. His little mouth would be round if he said boo, wouldn't it? So let's give him a round mouth. <gasps> how cute, little baby pumpkin. Good job, everybody. You're sure good helpers. Now, boys and girls, I want to talk a little bit about Halloween night. You know how to take trick or treat, don't you? Sure you do. You dress up in your costume and you go to a neighbor's door and you knock. And when they come to the door, what do you say? That's right, trick or treat. And then they put some candy in your little pumpkin or your bag. And what do you say? Yes, use good manners. You say thank you, right? It's important to have good manners, boys and girls. And guess what's in here? Some of the kinds of treats you might get on Halloween. Uh-huh. Oh, look at this. It's a lollipop. Ooh, it's a dum-dum. Do you like dum-dums? This one's cherry, my favorite flavor. <gasps> Bubble gum. Oh, I love to chew bubble gum. Oh, and look here. These are called pixie sticks. There's orange and purple. Have you ever eaten a pixie stick? Well, you really don't eat the whole stick. It's paper, and you cut the top off, then you stick out your tongue like this. And you sprinkle that on your tongue. And it tastes delicious. Yeah, <laughs> it's fun to eat pixie sticks. Oh, and sometimes you get Smarties, Smarties candies. They make you even smarty than, than Smarty Pantsier than you already are. <laughs> oh, and sometimes people will give me stickers when I trick or treat. Little happy face stickers, those are fun to get. And sometimes they give you a little toy. Have you ever played with one of these boys and girls? You stick your fingers in there. And then you try to get your fingers out and it pulls tight. And your fingers won't come out. Till you squish it up again. Oh, and look what I got one year when I was trick-or-treating. A little rubber ducky. <laughs> oh, I take a bath with him every now and then. And sometimes people give you an apple or even 
a protein bar. Yeah. <laughs> Some people like to give real healthy treats. Mm -hmm. Well, before I leave you today, boys and girls, I have a song or two I want to do with you. Since we decorated some pumpkins, can we sing 10 Little Pumpkins? Let's do. It goes like this. One little, two little, three little pumpkins, four little, five little, six little pumpkins, seven little, eight little, nine little pumpkins, 10 little pumpkins, all in a row. And you know it's a Betsy Spider, don't you? I know you do. Let's sing it together. I'll hook my thumbs and make my eight legs like a spider. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. <gasps> Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Good job. I have a pet spider. His name is Bert. Would you like to meet him? I'll show him to you. But I'm warning you, my friends, he's not itsy and he's not bitsy. Here's Bert. No, he's not itsy or bitsy, is he? He's big. <laughs> Hi, Bert. Oh, look, kids, he's waving at you with both, <laughs> with two little, little antenna there. Yes. And Bert has a favorite Halloween song. It goes like this. The creepy, crawly spider climbed up a haunted house. And with him came a bat and a big black cat. Out jumped the ghost and scared them all away. And the creepy crawly spider found another place to play. <laughs> Good job, creepy crawly. Well, boys and girls, I hope you have the best Halloween ever. And I hope you get lots of treats. And you can always sing this little song on Halloween nights. Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. <laughs> Happy Halloween, my friends.